Welcome back to part two of Right Data's video series, Getting Started with the Right Data. We talked about Query Studio during part one of this video series. The second type of object you can create in Query Studio is Query Chain. The Query Chain option in Write Data comes with rich functionalities like ingesting data from all supported data sources, preparing the data using our pre-delivered set of transformation capabilities, and snapshotting the prepared data set. You can also choose to conduct data profiling on the post ingested slash transformed data set. Let me demonstrate how to create a query chain. Click on new query chain to load the query chain designer with design element start. Double click on start to give a name for query chain and long description. Then select the folder to be saved under. Query chain's design palettes data sources tab contains different types of data sources you can use as part of query chain. Drag and drop the query design element to the canvas. Double click on and choose the query example CSV credit trans query, which was created in part one of this video series. Click on select to return to the canvas. Now switch to the transformations tab of the design palette you will see various types of transformation options like projection, aggregation, filter, join, union, etc. Drag and drop the projection element to the canvas. Projection transformation is used to select or deselect the columns, change the order, and add derived columns. Now connect data source output port with projection input port and double click on the projection element. Let's create a new derived column total amount. Click on add column. This will open the formula builder where you can use the fields that are part of the data source and formulas and functions provided by write data to derive new columns. In this case, from the available columns window, drag and drop principal underscore amount and interest underscore amount to the formula window by adding a plus symbol. Name the new column total underscore amount and select the data type of the new column as decimal. Click on Save to return to Projection window. Click on Save again to return to the Design Canvas. Now switch to the Output tab of Design Palette. Drag and drop RD Output to the Canvas. Double click on RD Output element to give a meaningful name for the data snapshot. Click Save. Now query chain configuration is complete and ready to execute. Click on execute. This will submit a request to the right data processing engine. Upon successful submission of this request, the design canvas will switch to monitor mode where you can see the execution progress of query chain. Once the query chain execution is completed, in order to see the output of the query chain, click on RD output record count. This will render the data to the front end for your analysis. You can download the data presented on the grid. Using Query Chain, we can also perform data profiling. In order to perform data preparation, let's edit the Query Chain example post-processing of CSV file. Go to the Output tab of the Design Palette. Drag and drop the Data Profiling Design element to the canvas. This will automatically connect the output element to data profiling. Double click on the data profiling element and choose the columns to be profiled. If you only like to collect the summary level statistics, select the checkbox summary statistics only. In this case, I will keep it deselected. The right data processing engine will capture the distribution metrics for the individual columns. Click on Save to return to the canvas. Now, the query chain is configured for capturing data profiling metrics for the transformed data. Click on Execute. This will submit a request to Write Data's processing engine. Upon successful submission of the request, the design canvas will switch to monitor mode where you can see the execution progress of query chain. If the data profiling is completed successfully, you will see a green tick mark. Click on the tick mark to open the data profiling summary level statistics. Depending on the data type relevancy, the profiling metrics are presented in the grid. If you choose to, 
you can download the profiling summary statistics to an Excel file. In order to drill into each column, click on the graph icon next to the column name in the grid. This will open data distribution for the selected column. If the column is a metrics data type, you will see a histogram instead. You can further drill into the interested distribution bucket to see the underlying data set. As you can see, Write Data's Query Studio offers a powerful set of tools to analyze, explore, prepare, and profile data by laying a foundation to build the data quality assurance, data quality control, certification, and audit scenarios.